Hello, this is Galit Gofarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about the 21 powerful reasons why you want to lose weight this coming year. The German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche said it perfectly when he said, he who has a strong enough why can endure any how. Now losing weight is no easy task, but once you have a good enough reason to lose the weight, the whole process becomes a whole lot easier. By having a strong why, you will be tapping into your hidden reserves of energy, determination, and courage that you may not even know you have. Your mission becomes clear and your goal becomes compelling enough so that you become unstoppable. Obesity is the second leading cause of death after smoking in the world. It is associated with an increased mortality rate for all ages, including children. Now more than 2 billion people worldwide are overweight and obese and when you carry more weight than you should, losing weight is not an issue that you really want to procrastinate. In this video I will give you a few reasons for how to transform your goal of weight loss into something that becomes absolutely irresistible for you. So the first reason that you want to lose weight is diabetes. It is well known that 80-90% to 90 of type 2 diabetic patients are overweight. And diabetes is the third leading cause of death in the United States and research shows that having diabetes at least doubles a person's risk of death. And diabetes is also the leading cause of adult blindness in the world. It leads to many health complications relating to uh, damage of the blood vessels including heart disease, stroke and peripheral, uh, peripheral uh, vascular disease. It also uh, is really no fun and losing weight drastically reduces the risk from suffering from this terribly debilitating disease. Reason number two to lose weight involves vascular diseases. Obesity is also associated with atherosclerosis, which is a thickening and hardening of the walls of the arteries caused by a buildup of fatty deposits, cholesterol, and other substances on the inside of artery walls throughout the body. Now, this narrows the artery, slowing blood flow and increasing the risk of blood clotting. Arteries are at risk, uh, including those that supply the brain and the heart. Now, if uh, blood clotting happens in the brain due to a narrowed artery, then it may block blood supply to an area of the brain, resulting in a stroke. And if the clotting occurs in a narrowed heart artery, then it blocks blood supply to an area of the heart, leading to a heart attack. Now, losing weight reduces both of these risks dramatically. Now, heart disease is number one leading cause of death from chronic disease. So, reason number three is cancer. The World Health Organization estimates that between 25 and 33% of cancer patients worldwide are overweight and physically inactive. The connection between being overweight and cancer is due to the fact that specific stores of body fat belly fat in particular are biologically active and function like endocrine organs and these fat cells actually release pro-inflammatory cytokines which support the development of tumors as well as inflammation, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, stroke, dementia, Alzheimer's and premature aging. In addition, fat cells tend to keep cancer-causing agents trapped in the body because fat cells also function as storage compartments for these toxins so that they won't run rampant around the body and harm other tissues. However, there are times when these toxins are released into the bloodstream, inducing inflammation and increasing the chances of developing cancer. Obesity especially raises the risk of suffering from breast cancer, both in men and women, colorectal cancer, prostate cancer, endometrial cancer affecting the uterus, esophageal cancer, and renal cancer. Now reason number four involves respiratory diseases. The presence of fatty tissue around the ribcage, the abdomen, and the visceral cavity fills the chest wall and reduces the volume of air present in the lungs. The chest wall becomes heavier. Uh, uh, to lift due to the added fat tissue in the process of breathing in. And the most common respiratory problem is sleep apnea and where the individual actually stops breathing for some time while sleeping. So during sleep when the throat and tongue muscles are more relaxed, soft tissue in the throat collapses around the airway due to the excess weight that is blocking it. Now this excess weight causes the airway to become blocked and 
for the severely obese, sleep apnea may become more complicated, uh, leading to hypoventilation, which is a buildup of carbon dioxide uh, to toxic levels in the blood due to inadequate breathing. So losing weight is the only real, permanent, safe, and healthy solution for sleep apnea. So reason number five out of 21 is urinary incontinence which is the involuntary release of urine. Being overweight contributes to urinary incontinence. This extra weight carried around the person's abdominal area due to fat deposits may cause excessive stress and pressure on the muscles of the pelvic floor. And this leads to stretching and weakening of these muscles and uh, resulting in leakage of urine when we cough, when we sneeze, or when we laugh. And it can even re result in bedwetting in some people. Uh, this particular problem can be very effective motivator to lose weight. Now, reason number six to lose weight is varicose veins. These are veins that have become enlarged and twisted, most common in the superficial veins of the legs. Leg and thigh muscles actually assist the heart in blood circulation. The leg muscles put pressure on the veins to return the blood back up to the heart against gravity. Now, to support them with this task, the veins have pairs of valves to prevent the, um, the blood from flowing backwards, back down. And the pressure, as a result of a large abdomen, increases the workload on the valves, which eventually causes their damage and they stop functioning properly. Now, these damaged valves then allow the blood to flow backwards, again, uh, due to gravity, creating high pressure in these veins, leading to swelling and thickening of the skin and skin ulcers. And besides being a cosmetic problem, varicose veins are very, very painful, especially when standing. Now, reason number seven to lose weight is high blood pressure. One's BMI, body mass index, and age together are the most vital indicators of risk for high blood pressure. At least a third of high blood, blood pressure cases are related to weight gain. High blood pressure sustained over time is a major risk factor for heart disease, stroke, aortic aneurysm, peripheral artery disease, and chronic kidney disease. Now reasons number 8 to 18 are other diseases which may occur as a result of being overweight, which include gout. Obesity is an independent risk factor for gout and it's associated with earlier onset, a uh, younger age of onset of gout. Lower back pain with excessive weight the, on the spine, it, um, it has more burden to take and this leads to actually structural changes and damage. Osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis uh, due to the exposure of cytokines released from the visceral belly fat. Uh, which promotes inflammation and this chronic inflammation uh, occurs in the joints with people with these diseases. Gallstones, which may cause severe pain and blockage of the bile duct. People who are overweight will have more cholesterol in their bile and the more cholesterol you have, the more likely you are to suffer from gallstones. Also pregnancy disorders, obesity increases birth defect risk. Babies born to obese women were found to be twice as likely to have neural tube defect in their, uh, in their children than women who were not overweight, even though both mo mothers took folic acid supplements during the pregnancy. So if not for your own sake, at least for your baby's sake, to reduce the weight. This is an excellent motivator as well. Now, a whole spectrum of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease also are believed to be due to insulin resistance, which is uh, closely associated with being overweight. In fact, studies show that a person's BMI correlates with the degree of liver damage. The higher the BMI, the greater the liver damage. Also pan pancreatitis, which is uh, fat within the pancreas has been shown to increase with higher BMI. The more overweight the person, the more fatty tissue they will have in their pancreas, leading to chronic inflammation of the pancreas and fat clogging up the pancreas, not allowing normal insulin secretion. And this situation leads to type 2 diabetes and predisposes to pancreatic cancer, which is very challenging cancer to treat. Also, uh, 
um, being overweight, uh, most people have a bad body odor, which is something that you really want to consider. Also depression. The connection is actually by way. It's um, the, um, overweight people have a 55% increase in, in developing depression over time and depressed people have a 58% increased risk of becoming obese and overweight. Research shows that even a modest weight loss of even 10 pounds for an overweight individual actually significantly reduces the risk of developing all of these diseases and disorders. Okay, now reason number 19 is your relationships will improve. When you are healthy and at your ideal weight and feeling good, your relationship with yourself, first of all, will be better. And as a result, your other relationships will be healthier and happier as well and more enjoyable. And as your sex life will also improve and you will feel better with yourself and as your self-esteem will rise. And the quality of your relationships determines the quality of your life. Now, number 20 is you will also be more productive. When your body is functioning at its best, you will become, you are more productive. You can fit more into your day. Uh, you have more time for work, creativity, family, and even for yourself. And this will make you actually wealthier and more fulfilled in many other fields of life as well. And the last reason, number 21 to lose weight, is that you will have a longer life in good health. Scientists from Boston University found that the risk for mortality increases with higher BMIs and the lowest risk category being within the BMI range of 20 to 22. They found that the risk of death increases consistently as BMI goes up. So if you lose weight, you are more likely to live longer, to see your grandchildren grow up and even have their own children. And, and so you will have a wealth of joyous experiences on earth and will be much happier. So I want to add that weight loss is a challenge taken by many different, many people every single year. Unfortunately, many fail in this very healthy endeavor. And this is all because of one thing. They lack the proper information on effective weight loss and effective weight loss should be permanent. It will be if it's done gradually step by step it is for good and will not come back so now you understand why weight loss is definitely something you want to not only put on your new year's resolution this year but also to achieve this goal and if you are in the same health condition as you were last last year at this time then it's time to take different action get a jump start on making 2019 your best and healthiest year yet and join the gorilla diet boot camp today i'm here to help you and support you throughout the process uh, every step of the way so you're welcome to join and thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you want more health and weight loss and nutrition information for free, visit my website at www.thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much.